Hi, everybody, and welcome to the incredible kids to Hillim for Eretz Yisrael. This is week five of this week. Um, this is the end of our third week all together. So many of you have been here as regulars. Um, so many of you must be new. Every night we're joined by new families. And um, I'm going to give a minute for, there's lots of people entering the, the meeting as we speak. Um, hi, everyone. Hi, everybody in uh, my hometown of Baltimore. And hi, everybody who is coming from Florida because you have a special guest here that you want to connect with. And, and um who's representing your community and welcome to everybody else from across the United States. And I don't know, maybe other places as well. Every once in a while, we have people telling us they come from other places. Um, just thumbs up before we begin. Can everyone hear me clearly? Awesome. Thank you everyone for that. Okay. So I am from incredible kids podcast. Um, many of you know about it already. And if you haven't, you will soon. And, but that's not why we're here today. We're here today to unite for Am Yisrael. And um, as we know, the Jewish people are all united. And even though, you know, a lot of the, the hard hardships that are going on right now are in Israel, Israel, Am Yisrael, Jewish people, we are all one. Um, and that's it. So that's why we're here. And that's why you're here. And um, it's so inspiring every night to see you all come out tonight. Tonight to Hillim and Achdas. And inspiration on this very Heilige Arab Shabbos is dedicated by the Hobermans from Waterbury in honor of, you know, in honor of all of you. But it also they, they wanted to be a special zechus for their baby um, cousin who was just born a few months early. Tinok ben Shira Yehudis should have um, a complete refua and be healthy. I, I see you guys waving. Let's say hello to the Hobermans who spot like we're going to spotlight them for sponsoring. Thank you. Thank you. Such a beautiful mitzvah that you did that. And can you imagine, can you imagine all this chosem we're going to get for Am Yisrael? And of course, for the chayalim, for the soldiers and for the people who need to come home to their families and all of Am Yisrael who needs our achdas and they need our tfilos. And when I say are, I'm really saying yours because the kinderlach, the kids, you guys, it's what it's all about. You see behind me, it says incredible kids because that's the only thing I care about right now. I know that you guys are going to help us win this war now and always, always, always with your tefillos. So without any further ado, our guest tonight is Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg. He is from the Boca Raton Synagogue. And I, I, I think that you guys are in for a big treat because this rabbi is a rabbi of a, one of the biggest shoals probably in America, I would think. I, I, I don't know for sure because I don't really, I, I don't even go to shoal usually because I'm usually home watching my kids. But um, he's he's part of a huge shoal and I'm sure he, you know, speaks every Shabbos to many, many, many kids. And I see people saying, go rabbi. I guess some of your some of your kahila is here. And um, and we are so privileged that in his busy schedule, he came. He also just came back from Israel, from Eretz Israel, in the middle of this war. So maybe he'll give us, um, he's going to give us a little bit of a taste of the achdos, the chesed, the tefillah, and everything else that he experienced there. So Rabbi Goldberg, you are on. I'm going to unmute you, but you might have to click something. I think I'm good. Can you hear me? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, you are awesome. Thumbs up okay. from everyone for Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg. Thank you. I'm going to mute myself. Amazing. Today. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And it is really an incredible privilege because you're incredible kids. To be with you is amazing that at the end of a long day of yeshiva, of school, of studying, that you're here for extra, extra divrei Torah and extra davening. It's extra special. And you are in fact, every one of you, incredible kids, and there's no one I'd rather hang out with more in this moment and tonight than to be with you. You know, Hashem cherishes every one of our tefillos. Whenever we daven, whenever we open up our heart, whenever we open up our mind, when we talk to Hashem, not only the words in the Siddur, they're important and they matter. The words of the Tehillim that you say every night here, they're important. But when we talk to Hashem from our heart, we talk to Him not as if He's our best friend. He is our best friend. He's right next to us and he's listening and he has all this bracha that he's waiting to give to us. But do you know how you unlock the bracha? Hashem has designated, he set aside all this Yeshua, Nechama, all of this help and salvation, all this victory against our enemies, all this good health. But the way that we get it, the way that we bring it down, the way that we draw it is through davening, is through tefillah. And Hashem cherishes the tefillah 
of you, of children, more than anyone else. So the fact that you set aside extra time and the fact that at the end of a long day and the fact that your parents or your family interrupt their busy night of homework and bedtime and supper to be able to find a few minutes for Dvar Torah and for singing and for Tehillim, it's winning this war. It's miracles. You're doing your part. Our precious chayalim, our holy soldiers, they're on the front line. They're fighting to protect the Jewish people. But you are pushing them up the hill. You, every one of you, all of the children, every one of us, by davening, by thinking about them, by caring about them, by singing about them, we are all doing our part to fight this battle, to fight this war, and Hashem's hearing. He listens, and Hashem is going to help. You know, in our parsha, Sarah Imenu, the great Sarah passes away. She dies very tragically. She dies very suddenly because she heard about the Akedas Yitzchak. She heard what Avram was going to do to Yitzchak, but she didn't hear the punchline. She didn't hear that in the end Yitzchak was okay. She only heard, she thought she heard, that Avram was going to take Yitzchak on to that Mizbeach to do what he was told to do. She didn't hear that the angel said, stop, don't do it. So she got scared to death and she died. She died very suddenly. You think Avram was sad? Avram was very sad. He and Sarah were married for many years and they were incredibly close. In fact, Sarah was Avram's better half. Avram lives for another 38 years, even after Sarah passes away. And the Torah doesn't tell us anything about Avram because Avram without Sarah is not Avram. He was very sad. So what does he have to do? He has to go buy a burial place. He has to bury his wife. He has to bury her. And he buys a burial place from Ephron Hachiti. And that's one of Avram's tests. How do you get along with Ephron? He's lying. He's not honest. He's conniving. And Avram passes the test because he acts like a mensch. He acts like having good midos. Even though he's dealing with somebody who's such a lowly person like Ephron, Avram passes that test and he acts like a mention he buries Sarah. What do you think Avram does next? What does he do next? Torah tells us, Vayakam Avram me'al pnei meso. Avram gets up from crying. He gets up from his sadness. He gets up from grieving. And what does he go do next? What does the Torah tell us happens next? He buys Maras HaMachpelah. How many? Raise your hand if you've been to Maras HaMachpelah. Have you ever been to Israel? Raise your hand if you've been to Israel. And if you've been to Israel, were you so lucky that you went to Maras HaMachpela? You got to visit Avram and Sarah and Yitzchak and Rivka and Yaakov and Leah. You got to go? Wow, it's amazing. Our holy Babis and Zaydas. You got to visit our holy, holy Avos and Imahos. So you were at that special place. Amazing. You're so lucky. You should thank Hashem every day. Avram buys that place and he buries Sarah. And what does he do next? So you might have thought, well, he lost Sarah. It's so sad. It's so sad. And we're so sad because there was a tragedy that happened in Eretz Yisrael. And so many people, sadly, they died too young, like Sarah. And they were, it's so sad for us. So many families that were sitting Shiva, it's filled with so much sadness. But what do we learn from Avram? You know what Avram does next? The Torah tells us what he does next. He tell, comes to his servant Eliezer and he says, isha levni liitzchak. You know what the answer is? My son Yitzchak needs to get married because he needs to have children, kinderlach, incredible kids, because there needs to be a Jewish future. There needs to be a bright future. Kinderlach, you are that future. We, the Jewish people, Kla Yisrael, Am Yisrael, going through a very difficult time. And we're sad. And it's okay to be sad. We should be sad. It's a very hard time. But you know what our answer is? Like Avram Avinu, Vayakam Avram Eapanei Meso, you know what our answer is? We get back up, we stand back up strong, and we build the future. Like Avram's next move was to find a wife for Yitzchak so that they could get married and have children and build a family. You, you kindle our future. So every time that you learn Torah and every time that you listen to your mother and father and practice kibra ve'em. And every time you get along with your siblings and you don't fight and you have good midos. And every time that you come onto this Zoom, incredible kids, and you say to Hillam, you are the answer. You are the response. You are the future. You are what Yidin, you are what Jewish people do after tragedy. We don't give up. We don't stop. And we don't slow down. And we don't say it's all over. We say we got to build. We got to do what's next. That's what you are all about. And that's why I'm so honored and I'm so privileged to be with you. You know, I just came back from Israel, as was mentioned. I went for just three days to go give hugs, to give a hug to everybody I could in Israel. I don't know if I hugged millions of people. I don't even know if I hugged thousands of people, but it felt like it. Because I went around Israel, I just hugged everybody I could. Hugged every soldier, I hugged every man. I just said, I'm here from Boca Raton, Florida, and I'm here from Jews around the world just to say, we love you. We're thinking about you. We're with you. We're achtos. We are united. We are one. 
So one of the places we went was the hospital, Tel Hashomer Hospital. We went to go visit people who were injured in this war. And one of the people I visited was somebody named Michal Gottesman. Michal Gottesman is not a soldier. So why was he in the hospital? Why was he wounded? He comes from a little yeshuv. He comes from a little neighborhood in Israel, right outside of Gaza, that's called Shlomit. And he's just a regular citizen. He's just a regular husband, a regular man, a regular Abba, a regular father. But when these terrible things happened, he went to go protect the people in his community. He went to go protect his family. And when he was protecting his family, he got injured. He got hurt by somebody. He's lying in the hospital and we went to go see him, to just go hug him and to tell him that we love him and to wish him a refu shlema. And here's what I want to tell you, because here's the amazing thing. You know what Michal Gadisman said? He comes from Shlomit. And Shlomit's right outside Gaza, where there are some people who don't want us to be there. And maybe you think that he got hurt trying to defend our people. So he's done. He's going to move to Boca Raton or Brooklyn or Baltimore or someplace else that starts with the letter B. But he's done. Why is he going to stay in Israel? Or it's dangerous. Maybe you'll think he's done. He's going to come to Boca Raton, Florida and lie under a palm tree by a pool and enjoy life because look how he got injured trying to fight for the Jewish people. That's not what he's going to do. Do you know what Michal Gadisman told me? What Michal Gadisman told me was, he said, I can't wait to get out of here. I thought, you can't wait to get out of here. You're going to go on vacation. You're going on a trip. You're going to take care. He said, I can't wait to get out of here to go back to my community of Shlomit and to build more houses and to expand our neighborhood and to invite more families and to learn and to teach more Torah and to do more chesed. And he said, I'm already going to plan now. This terrible thing that happened in Eretz Yisrael happened. For them, it was Simchas Torah. He said, I can't get ready. I can't wait to get ready to plan next Simchas Torah. It's going to be amazing. In the same place where these tragedies happen, these sad things happen, we're going to dance and sing with the Torah, and we're going to welcome and we're going to feel Hashem. Where did Michal Gadisman get this from? How does he have the strength? Because Avram Avinu, in our parsha, just like Avram lost Sarah, but he bounced back, because that's what Jews do. Some of you have a hard time. We go through difficult circumstances. Maybe there's someone we love who's sick. Maybe there's somebody that we love who we lost. We have a hard time, and it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be worried. But you know what we do as Yidden, as the children of Avram and Sarah? We bounce back. We bounce back. And just like Avram, the next thing he did was find a wife for Yitzchak so they could have children and build a family. We too build. And this Zoom, you incredible kids, oh, unbelievable. Hashem has such nachas from you. Hashem has such joy for you. And every day that we're winning this war, and make no mistake, Am Yisrael are going to win this war. Every day we win this war, it's thanks to you. You're in the Tzivos Hashem, you're in the army, you're in the reserves, you've been called up, and your job is to daven and to learn and to have good midos and to come on the Zoom for a few minutes. So we stood in that hospital room with Michal Gadisman, who told us as he's lying there, I can't wait to be well enough to come out of the hospital, not to go on a trip to Boca Raton, not to go on a vacation to Disney World, not to leave and go somewhere else. I just want to go home to my community to build it, to teach more Torah, to grow it even more, because that's what Jews do. That's what we learned from Avram Avinu. And you know what we did? We took out a guitar. And you know what we sang with Michal Gadisman? What we're going to sing together right now. Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael Chai. 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 O Davinu Chai, O Davinu Chai, O Davinu, O Davinu, O Davinu Chai. Am Yisrael Chai. You have nothing to worry about. Just like even after Sarah died, Yitzchak gets married and the Jewish people continue, Am Yisrael is still continuing. So before we say Tehillim, one more song. Join me as we sing Achenu together and we think about our brothers and sisters in Eretz Yisrael. Every adult that's davening, Hashem is listening. But He's not listening even as closely as He's listening to every child. So keep davening, Kindelach. The Jewish people need you. Am Yisrael needs you. And join me, everybody together. Achenu kol beis Yisrael Achenu kol beis Yisrael Hanesunim batzara Batzara uvashivya Haomdim bein bayam uvein bayam Abashah 
Hamakam Yerachem Yerachem Aleyem Liyotzie Mitzara Nirvacha Umeyafela Liyora Umeshivot Legiula Hashta Bagala Uvizman Kariv Thank you so much for the special opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rabbi Goldberg. Rabbi Goldberg, I'm about to show everybody a video that you sent me. Um, is that from the Tel Shomer Hospital? That's from Tel Shomer Hospital, and that's with uh, yeah, that's a very special. So the soldier, the soldier in the video that I'm about to show, and I, I only know this. I saw this video when you were in Art Israel. You put it on your WhatsApp, um, but I think it's not even. Was it even a Jewish soldier? Was it he's a, a Jew, Jew soldier? Not even a, a Jew soldier. Not even a Jewish soldier. But he's proud of being right. the Jewish people and of Eretz Israel. So I'm going to show, and, and I think you probably did this scene that you're about to see, Kinderlach. You're, you're about to see Rabbi Goldberg visiting in this hospital room and providing so much hope and light. And just look at all of the people's faces in the video. Am I right or wrong? I mean, uh, the, that room, when I saw that video, I was so jealous of you that you were there. I was like, I mean, you're dancing with a bunch of men. I would love to go visit all the women who are gathering and hopefully doing the same thing. And I think... Um, but, but they know those, and I can't do that now, right? Because my place is to be home and your place kids is to be home and whatever, and go to school and everything. But we've told them about what's going on here. And they've been so, they've been so happy to hear that this commitment from these kids who are here every single day with a full, full heart. So I'm going to show this video is very, very, very special. Okay. I'm just going to show the second part of it where they are all, where you're all getting excited over there. Um, Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg was a, it was such a treat. And I know that there's a lot of my friends, like a lot of the incredible mommies that told me, oh my goodness, we're so excited. We listened to the Mesila Sisharam now that we have something for us to look forward to this week. So, you know, it's a whole family event over here. Thank you so much. Okay. Everybody's together. So we came for three days from Florida, the bottom of our heart to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Chai. Am Israel, Chai. Am Israel, Chai. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Chai. On the sinu, on the vinu, on the vinu, Chai. On the vinu, on the vinu, on the vinu, Chai. On the vinu, on the vinu, on the vinu, Chai. Am Israel, 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 Am הרב, ברכה לכל חיילי צה"ל ולכל אנשי כוחות הביטחון. אמן. Wow, I just got a little bit emotional watching it again, even though that was like the third time I watched it. But that was very, very, very special. And I think it's important that you kids know that they're, you know, a little bit of a little bit. We don't want to be see anything scary, right? We don't want to see scary things, but we want to see things that give us a reason to dive in a little bit harder. You can see the person in the in the video lying in the bed over there. He got some big boo-boos, right? And while he's trying to do brave things to defend our people, and we're going to give them hope. And even if they don't know that we're saying our Tehillim, our Tehillim matters. It matters so much. And therefore, before we start the Tehillim right now, I have a very special announcement to make. I have some big tzaddikim who reached out to me. One of them is my cousin. His name is Shua Goddessman, actually, because I'm a goddessman. That's my mother's maiden name. It's funny because you were talking about a story about a goddessman. Um, I wonder if we're related. Who knows? Um, so my cousin Shua Goddessman, he said to me, we got to get all these incredible kids, a special incredible kids to heal him. Raise your hand if you would like your own incredible kids to heal him. Wow. Okay. And you know what? This to heal him, even though you have to heal in your house, I see you all have your to heal him. I want you to have a special gift from me and from all of us. And I already got people to donate thousands of dollars to cover to heal for all of you. And Amir Tashem, I am committed to getting each of you a Tehillim. My cousin called me and said, Moritziri, 
How much money do you need? We're getting everyone on this call, their own incredible kids to heal him. So I'm working hard. It might not happen next week. It might take two weeks or three weeks, but I'm Ritz Hashem. So if you're listening to this and you want to get involved and you want to donate because I'm collecting money to cover the cost, but we want you to know that to heal him is your best friend for life. Rabbi Goldberg talked about Hashem being our best friend. In some ways we have that connection, but it's a heal him that you can cherish and love. Like I have my to heal him. I think once I get the incredible kids to heal him, I might have two new best friends, but the Tehillim should be with you your entire life. And this passion and this achdos and this love of Yidin should stay with us always. So when this cuckoo war is over, we're going to remember the lessons and we're going to be connected to our tefillah and to Hashem all the time. So if anybody here is messaging me now that they want to get involved, I appreciate it so much. Email me, ikidspodcast at gmail.com. Everyone say it out loud to yourself ikidspodcast at gmail.com. Okay, amazing. Go tell your parents. All right, now I am going to get our very special guest. Um, his name is Mayor Sokoloff, and he's going to, I'm going to ask him to unmute himself while I highlight a few Tehillims of the day. So hold up your Tehillim while he's getting ready to say Parak Kuf Lamed with all of us. Um, thank you everyone for coming prepared with a Tehillim. It is so beautiful to see Ooh, look at you. This is the Goldberger family. Hello. Look at them all ready for Tehillim tonight. Let's look at this one. We have the Spira family. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. I'm not choosing based on how beautiful the Tehillim is. I'm really at this point, I'm just looking for new faces. Ah, oh, the Newman kids. Okay, let's see some more incredible Tehillims. I'm going to do two more. Okay, we have a beautiful child right here. Oh, the Friedman family. Oh, I love it. Look at those smiles. And we're going to do one more to heal him. And let's get it from Aliza and Meira. Aliza and Meira. Hooray! Okay. Are we in the zone for it to heal him? Do we have our friend Mayor with us? Yeah. All right. I'm going to spotlight you for everyone. Hi, Mayor. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Queens. You live in Queens. Very nice. So let me tell you something, Mayor. I heard that your father is, a, is your father the rabbi of a shul? Yeah. Okay. So your father is the rabbi Sokoloff, I guess, right? Yeah. I, I'm not from Queens, so I don't know all the rabbis there, but okay. So rabbi Sokoloff, um, I heard that he gave a speech this Shabbos. Do you know about the speech? Yeah. What, and what did he mention in his speech? About you. Well, he didn't mention about me. What did he Not mention? Fully. Not uh, fully. Indirectly. Not about the Tehillim. <laughs> he mentioned about the incredible kids Tehillim. What did he say? About the, the, about the incredible kids Tehillim that, that it's good for incredible kids like that we're doing the Tehillim. That you're doing something very special, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that speech was for adults. He was telling adults how special it is that kids get together every night. And I found that to be so meaningful. Your mother sent me an email and told me that's the only reason why I know. I'm like, I, I don't know everything. I try to know everything, but that was something that your mom helped me know. <laughs> so anyways, that was so beautiful. And I'm so happy that you're with us to say to Hillem. Let's start para Kuf Lamed. The way this works is that our friend Mayer is going to read Pasuk Aleph. Um, and then we're all going to copy him and then we'll go back and forth responsively. So when I'm saying it, I'll be saying it along with all of you kids at home. So, Mayor, you're on para Kof Lamed. Shira Malos Mimakem Kirasicha Adonai. Shira Hamalos Mimakem Kirasicha Adonai. Adonai Shema Pekali Tiana Adnacha Kashubas Pekal Tachunanai. Adonai Shema Vekoli Tihiana Aznacha Kashuvos Lekal Tachanunai. Im Avonos Tishmar Ya Adonai Mi Yamai. Im Avonos Tishmar Ya Adonai Mi Yamod. Ki Im Haslicha Leman Tivare. Ki Im Ha Haslicha Leman Tivare. Ki Visi Adonai Kipsa Nashri Vilidvare Hachalti. Ki Visi Adonai Kipsa Nashri Vilidvaro Hochalti. Nafshi la denai mishemim la baiker shemim la baiker. Nafshi la denai mishomrim la bokar shomrim la bokar. Yachal Yisrael el adenai ki im adenai achasad va abei imay fedos. Yachal Yisrael el adenai ki im adenai achasad va harbei imo fedos. 
Thank you so much, Mayor, for joining us for Tehillim. It was so special having you on. Have a beautiful Shabbos. And we're going to say the Misha Beirach now for, uh, let me just see. Can you mute yourself? Oh, you got it. Okay, amazing. Um, I'm going to say the Misha Beirach now for the Chayalim and for um, Am Yisrael and in your mind. Um, we can think about, we can think about, um, you know, that Hashem gives them all special protection. So I'm going to say the words and you can say, Amin in your homes. Misha Birach Abosinu Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, who you varich as hachayalim haumdim al mishmar artsinu vaari alohinu. Yitin adonai aivinu hakamim alinu negafim lefnehem. Akadosh Baruchu Yad Barson Inu Tahteam Vyatrim Bekasa Rishua Uva Ataras Nitzachon. Ikuyam Baham Akasov Kia Donai Alohicham Haholich Imacham Lahilachim Laham Im Ivicham Lahoshia Ascham the Nomar Amin. I have a challenge for everybody. Um, this was an idea that somebody had, and I'd love to see if you guys could do it. Maritza Sham next week will be meeting again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I always like to give you a little sneak peek of who's coming. But before I tell you who we have on next week's program as a special guest, um, someone had this idea that, of course, I'm working on getting to Hillims enough for all of you to have a Maritza Sham, hopefully. Um, but before that we do that, you know, sometimes when you have a Tehillim, it's hard to, um, hold on, I just want to could you, could you guys see me? Yeah, you could see me. Okay, good. Um, it's hard to find the place sometimes. Like I know a lot of your parents help you find the place in the beginning, like, oh, we're going to do Kof Lamed today. So open up to Kof Lamed. And then when I say, hold up your Tehillim, you lose the place. And then it's like, whatever. So I want to see if I can challenge you to make a bookmark, a Tehillim bookmark. So it's just, you don't have to, but if you want to make a Tehillim bookmark, maybe anytime tonight, tomorrow, Matzah Shabbos or Sunday. So on Sunday night, when we meet back over here, I would love for you to show me your Tehillim bookmarks that you made. Use your creativity, make it beautiful. You could write something special on it. I know the Pollock kids from Queens decorated their, they, they put like a book cover on their Tehillim and they wrote 6 p.m. Tehillim on it. So that was really sweet. Your mommy sent me a picture. But if you can make a bookmark that goes inside and then you have it reserved to the right place, that would be really, really, really nice because then you would be ready to roll as soon as we're ready for the Tehillim. Okay, everybody. And with that, I am going to wish you the most beautiful Shabbos. And next week on Sunday, we will be joined by Shmuley Unger on Sunday. And wait till Matzi Shabbos. I'm going to send out the whole schedule. If any of you want to help um, promote this so that more and more people can join, we have an endless amount of people who can watch this on Yidflix. Um, it's being live streamed. So even if this meeting is full, we could have many more people watching it live. So you could let me know, ikidspodcast at gmail.com, and I will send you the daily flyers as well. Everybody, you are all so special. Who's going to see some Tehillim on your own over Shabbos? Oh, wow. Beautiful. I want to just keep those hands up. Keep those hands up. Keep those hands up. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's see how many people have their hands up here. So many people. Who's going to be saying Tehillim on Shabbos? Who's going to see Tehillim on Shabbos? The Gavant kids? You got Gavant? I don't know how to say your last name. Gavant, you're from Atlanta. And we're going to have Goldbrenner saying Tehillim on Shabbos. And T-Bergs are going to be saying Tehillim. And Bugapolskis are going to be saying Tehillim. And the cars are going to be saying Tehillim on Shabbos. All this Tehillim has got to bring Mashiach closer. I know it. Have a good night, everybody. And a beautiful Shabbos. Bye.